We all have values, defined or not defined. We might be aware of them or not. But when we work together in a team, we bring our values with and imagine 10 people working in a team bringing their own values. It can be a mess, 20, 30, 40 different values. Everyone works on his or her own standards. So when organization defines its values and they are communicated and alive, these are the lowest possible standards and principles we work on, like an agreement. So we know how to work, we know how to behave, how to work together. And it's not about moral or ethics, what's right or what's wrong. This is separated. These are just standards, how we work together, agreements. To define organizational values, we should know who defines them. But it depends. Every organization decides on its own. It might be an owner or founders. It might be the whole team already working together if they were not defined in the beginning. We just have to know that it's crucial that we all agree with them, like fully agree, and that we are role models of those values, especially management and leaders, because we are role models. And let's say there is a value, we respect customers or customers are our first priority. And then there is an issue and management said, oh, I don't mind, we'll do it this way. This is not behind the value. We respect our customers. And if our people see that and they see we don't respect the value, they will not respect all of them at all as well. Too many times, even if the values are defined, they finish in a separate file that's put somewhere. It doesn't have any sense to do it like that. So the values should be alive. First thing is to educate people about the values, to explain the values to them to make those value statements that extensively explain what every value means. And then we have to put them somehow on some visible places that they remind us even subconsciously, let's say on the walls, on t-shirts, on glass coasters. We can embed them in our organizational events like special celebrations, team buildings, and so on that people know that they're there, they see that they're there. We can talk about them. In our foundation, we run initiative, Our Spirits Award, every month, where each team member can or should appoint one of his colleagues that did something especially good, above expected, regarding the values. And if there are more of those, you can, of course, go there to, to that person and say, thank you, it meant a lot to me. From those that were nominated, management chooses one. The winner gets like a uh, symbolic award. And this is also a way, you know, to, to discuss, to think about values, to be aware during the month what people do and how do they put a lot of effort to be good and work well with other colleagues. Then another initiative we also have is our values party where the team meets and every person chooses the most expressed value for a colleague and the least expressed value. And we do it then each with each, but we are all together. And with this activity we do, also some small conflicts or issues are solved when we discuss. And usually one person gets this most expressed value, the same from all the colleagues, and if it happens, we say, oh, now you are a champion of that value. And if you are a champion, it's like a special accountability or empowerment to you that you take care that it's life when you work together. That values are alive and that we can build a strong culture, the values should be the same, but it's not possible. So they are never the same. Because me and you can have similar values that might be aligned, but most probably are not the same. And it's the same in the team. And let's say I said our values might be aligned. When we set the corporate values, the values of all team members should be aligned with corporate values. If it's a new member, we can easily check it during the hiring process. 
But if there are people already in the team when we define values and they are not aligned, this person will most probably have to leave the company. When we set values, these are just principles and standards. But people, when they take their values for their own, build a culture. And if the culture is strong and healthy, people can easily focus towards their work, towards their projects, and spend less time in conflicts, issues, challenges. That's why it's very important that we build strong, healthy culture.